It's been called the most elaborate and mysterious puzzle of the internet age. It's considered to be one of the eeriest unsolved mysteries of the internet. No, folks, it's actually not my internet browsing history. Uh, uh, uh. It's Cicada 3301. In today's episode of Last from the Past, we'll investigate the mysterious organization known as Cicada 3301 that popped up around 2012 only to vanish without a trace after five years of cryptic, coded messages. Many have speculated its creation to be that of the CIA, or the NSA, or even a Masonic conspiracy group. But only true internet sleuths like ourselves have a chance of getting to the bottom of this mystery. I'm Jake Spyware Storielli, and that's Jimmy Online O'Brien. We literally learned cryptology just for this episode. Let's go crack some internet codes. That's your best. This season of Laughs from the Past is brought to you by Cushy Dreams. They heard that we were solving crimes, and they said, well, we can solve your anxiety on the way. CBD, smokable CBD, Jake. What is so great about this product? Jim, this is a match made in heaven. Laughs from the Past and Cushy Dreams. Cush up a little bit. You got a sore knee. You got a little anxiety. You want to solve the world's mysteries with us. Cushy Dreams is the way to do it. We love them, and they're doing 20% off with promo code LAUGHS. L-A-U-G-H-S. Laughs, laughs, laughs. laughs. They got pre-rolled joints you can smoke. Yep. They got tins of nugs. nugs. Smells like weed, tastes like weed. It's not weed. It's just CBD. Legal in all sm- 50 states. They'll ship it to you. Discreetly. They're the best. They're Cushy the best. Dreams. Try them out. K-U-S-H-Y dot com, promo code LAUGHS. LAUGHS. Hello and welcome. Season whatever of Laughs from the Past, episode two. This season is called Historical Sleuths, and it involves us solving mysteries. Episode one, we solved the mystery of the boat. The boat. What's it called? The boat. The Mary. Mary Clement. Mary Celeste. Mary Celeste. And now we're solving the Cicada 3301. You said it both ways. I don't know which way this is said. 3301 or 3301? Well, let's... Noah's probably getting so hot right now. Let's go 3301. I also might say 3301. I'd go 3301. What would you go, BBD? I mean, I'd say it's either 3301 or 3301, but not 3301. Then go full zero. Yeah, I, that was, was, I thought that you was, guys were going to get mad at, oh, I prefer 3301. I thought you guys were going to like zero. Well, if you do that, you're like combining two of them, but you're leaving the back two separate, which feels weird. It would be like 3314. Which you, you, I'm with you guys. I right. thought you guys were going to be mad if I went, oh, I no. thought O was going to be the weird I thing. I like 3301. 3301. 3301. Done. Good nerd voice or whatever voice that was. Yeah, I wasn't sure what I was getting into per usual, but it happened. You're a computer. I didn't. I didn't want to go full robot, so I kind of wanted to be like a human. Oh. I wanted human robot hybrid. If that didn't come off. No, I think you nailed it. I think you nailed it. A robot trying to be human. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I like not a human trying to be a robot. No. 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 Because I've got that in the bag. We were alive for this. 2012, we were roommates, I think, at the time. Swear. So, yeah, I promise. So, I don't know what this is all about. I've never heard of this. I don't know if this one we're going to be able to solve, like the last one. I want to say I've heard of it. My knowledge on the topic couldn't be less because it's zero. Okay. But there's a chance at one point I go, oh. Oh, yeah, that. All right, well, let's do it. Here we go. Cicada. 3301 appears. I've reverted back to the one we all said not to say. See? No, no, on purpose. It's a hilarious joke by me. 
People are asking. January 5th, 2012. While most of the world was breathing a sigh of relief that the end of the Mayan calendar had, in fact, not resulted in the world ending, the online coding community was involved in something completely different. A message posted on 4chan was making rounds in the community. It was an image with a white background and black lettering reading, We are looking for highly intelligent individuals. To find them, we have devised a test. There is a hidden message in this image. Find it, and it will lead you on the road to finding us. We look forward to meeting the few that will make it all the way through. Good luck, 3301. Would you have applied? No. I just said I don't fit the description. Highly intelligent. You would have your interest would have been piqued. This at the time this would not have piqued my interest. It depends. I would have like liked to see attempts of other people and read up on it. I don't think I would have tried myself. Okay. Cause like I'm not gonna like get there at the end. I think you would have read stuff, checked it out, not given your full hardest try. No way. Yeah. All right, the first puzzle began. Assuming most of you aren't coders, we're going to try and break down just how complicated, complex, and well thought out this puzzle was. Let's run through the path through this first puzzle. Opening the image using a text editor revealed a string of readable text followed by a cipher. The cipher, once deciphered, led to a URL. The URL led to a site with an image of a rubber duck that said, Whoops, just decoys this way. Looks like you can't guess how to get the message out. Although it appeared to be a dead end, a specific coding program called OutGuess allowed you first view encoded information in this website and then decipher the message. The message pointed to a mysterious unused subreddit, which to the naked eye, that's naked in my language, to the naked eye looked like gibberish. Users had to devise their own code to test against different possibilities and crack the message spelled out in the posts of this subreddit. Love a good deciphering code. We do. I like when it's easy. Change all the S's to T's and you got it. Oh, okay. A lot of them are too much. Yeah. That's too much. A lot of them you have to take chance. Here's what... A lot of them you have to take big chances on. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you're only going to get one guess at this. Mm -hmm. And I don't like that. You know what I like? I like, uh, well, are we talking about different things? Yes. You're talking about, like, make sure you're a human code? No. When oh, you buy something? No. What are you talking about where you only get one guess? Just like in some of these, like, there's a theme where it's, you know, at one point the word is apple. Yeah. And if you didn't guess apple there, then you're screwed. But you only had one guess at apple. So I, uh, where we're at, yeah. they're on a subreddit that looks like gibberish. Right. But there's a structure, and they need to figure out the entire structure. I think they get a forever amount of time to do it. Right. I'm talking on the steps there. You know, oh. you're looking at the duck. You're looking at... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The duck's cool. Da Vinci code. I like when people make codes in, like, all the first lines, all the first words of every... On the left side, when you read it downwards, it says something. We I should, can figure that out. We should do a puzzle-type day here that's, like... You know, finish the next number in the pattern. Yeah, yeah. And let's, we should yeah. do that one day at the office. That'd be fun. Okay. Invisible ink, that's always cool. Ooh, you love invisible ink. I never, like, used it. Well, in middle school, I think we used to spray it on each other. I think I, like, I missed that. Yeah, you could buy it at, like, magic places. The Revolutionary War was won via invisible ink. And weed. Next. Next. Now, here's where things begin to go from online to offline. Mm. This transition offers perhaps the first hint that the creator or creators behind Cicada 3301 weren't just smart coders in their parents' basement, rather highly intelligent individuals with financial or organizational resources that expanded outside the Internet. Okay. I'm interested because at this point, you and I were both leaning that these are... 
Losers. Just board geeks that try to do something. Yeah, instead it's like board geeks that work for the government. How easily do you think we can be convinced that this is a, like a real thing? Hard. Okay. Not easily. Yeah. Okay. They're going to, this is really going to have to, right now, like, if I don't come out the end of this saying, like, this was just people on the internet fucking with everyone else. Right. I'll be shocked. Like, remember when we did that mini laughs from the past on that book that was in a language no one knows? And it was right. like grass. And I'm like, this is someone just doodled and everyone's been faked out. Yeah. And this was nothing. This, That's, there's a good, there's a 99% chance this is nothing. Yeah. We'll see where this one lands. Okay. The message pointed users to a book called The M- Mabinogion. How would you say it? Mabinogion? Mabinogion, yeah. A book containing some of the earliest British prose literature. The majority of it is essentially pre-Christian Celtic mythology, with much of it put together between the 12th and 13th centuries based on oral tradition. Can I say something? Yeah. I'm happy for the people that were involved in this. Like, this isn't our lane at yeah. all, like, being a part of this. But the people that were, when they found out that the Mabagion was in play mm-hmm. in 12th and 13th century, like, they were stoked. You think anyone died trying to crack this case? They died during it, not trying to crack it. They died during it? Wouldn't that be the same thing? Like, it wasn't because they were trying to crack it. They just died. Oh. Yeah. They just, they just passed away. Oh, okay. Different causes. Yeah, like, because of this isn't why they died. Okay. Yeah. All right. People died. But people have died, yeah. Uh, anyways, extensive code in the subreddit allowed users to find a phone number hidden in different pages of the book's text. So, there was a subreddit, and one of the messages in the subreddit said, you will need the Mag- Mabinogian to help decipher the code. And then once someone cracked, oh, we need the Mabinogian. Then there was another code that referred to book numbers, page numbers in the book. Again, this is as exciting as it gets for these books. You get a phone number. Yeah. A message. When called. Okay, so somehow they figured out this. They called the phone number. When called, a robotic message instructed users to find prime numbers in the original post on 4chan. Very good. You have done well. There are three prime numbers associated with the original final.jpg image. Multiply all three of these numbers together and add a .com. Good luck. Goodbye. Multiplying them together would bring them to a new page with a countdown. It's cool that, like, for people that are deciphering this, I'm like, oh, I think I found a phone number. Okay, this this has got to be it. And then the, when the phone number says, go back to the beginning, you missed this code. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, my God, this is real. This is really thought out. They're not just, because that means you're not making it up as you go. No. When you put multiple codes in the right. first thing, And then when you get to step five, they're like, there's more info from step one. It's like, all right, you guys aren't just building blocks. Yeah, There was some thought outness to this. After the countdown hit zero, a list of coordinates popped up. Wow. This is where people start dying. Yeah, this is... uh... You getting scared? I'm not scared. I just... You're getting scared. No, I just got sad. I got bummed out for the 13-year-old that's about to find out. The 13-year-old in, you know, outside of Charlotte, that the next hint is, oh, come to Paris. And the kid's like, that kid has to go to explain to his parents. I've discovered a code that just told me I have to go to Paris. And then the parent says, shut up. I'm going to tell you something right now. Yeah. There's a 13-year-old kid that got this far. He's not asking for his parents' permission. He's running away. It's 13. Smart, though. Too yeah. smart, smart for his own. He's being recruited. Can't drive. Being recruited. Can't drive a car. Train? Can't drive a train either. Catch me if you can style. You're just a con artist his way there. It wasn't 13. 16? A little older. He was 16. That's a big gap. Yeah. Wait, did I, uh, did I mess this up? No, you're good. From online to offline. This brings us oh. 
This brings us to perhaps the greatest twist in the cicada. Cicada? Cicada. Cicada's first puzzle. The coordinates on the page pointed to different locations around the globe with a message at the top of the site instructing the user to find the cicada symbol at the location nearest them. There were 14 different locations. Okay, so you had options. 14 different locations in five different countries listed, ranging from Warsaw to Miami to Paris to Sydney. And we, you know, I'm assuming we can discuss this, but it looks like there's a QR code and the image of a cicada above it. Yeah, we have we have one in Miami, Paris, Warsaw, and Sydney, which does kind of rule out that this wasn't that this was a single individual fucking yeah. with people. It's got every, people everywhere putting these up. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to have a no. Pretty... You could definitely just like put this, scan this to the local print shop, and give them a ten dollar tip to put it on the it's telephone true. pole outside the building. Or I was gonna say, I mean, you know, I'm tw- such a good detective. Sometimes 2012, the internet's still ripping, so I mean, you can. Even find more idiots to be a part of this yeah, pretty Craigslist, easily. Craigslist, yeah. And we could do this pretty easily. I'll tell you what, the people that pinned these to the polls had no idea what any of it meant. They were they were patsies in the plan. I don't know. Paid five dollars. Go go print go tape this to a poll over there. I don't know. The people that put this up that. weren't gonna get caught on camera. I think I disagree. Yeah. Thus begun a race between the remaining players to find the pieces of paper with cicada symbols taped up in cities around the globe. Once an individual found the symbol and went to the QR code on it, the puzzle shifted back online, following a similar pattern as before. I was First, I was like, that sucks. You fly all the way to Paris, you get a QR code, now you're just back on the internet. But then I'm like, no, they love it. They live they love on the it. internet. They love every yeah. second of this. The codes went to an image. Hidden text in the image revealed a riddle in the code. The riddle led to a book called Agrippa, Mm. a book of the dead, instructing users to comb through certain pages to find their way to a URL. Here, the puzzle began its final twist. Perhaps the... Oh, I just said a word that's not even remotely close to being on the page. It's all right. That's wild. You were trusting it. Here the puzzle began its final twist. For the most part, previous puzzles were open to anyone. There was no limit on time or number of people that could get through. However, with the start of the physical QR codes, the number of people that could pass through began to dwindle. This newest URL had a twist. Only a select group of the earliest arrivals were let through to the final stage. The site had a message reading, we want the best, not the followers. Users made it this far were reportedly instructed not to share any information or collaborate with anyone else who made it this far. Any collaboration would result in expulsion. What about people just walking down the street in Paris, see a QR code on a telephone pole and they're like, that's fucking weird. Is someone selling cicadas? And they, they scan it to go to the website. Well, if you scan that original cicada, I mean, it took you to another riddle. So if you're just a person in the street, you'd be like, oh, that, that was dumb. Or. I didn't like that. Or you and you look up like cicada 3301 on the forums and now you're in and you have a leg out of the game. Yeah. yeah, I guess so. That would that would be a hell of a move. But they want the best, not the followers. Wonder how many people they let in. Ten. Because, like, again, I just feel bad for 11 right here. Mm, Especially yeah. if that was the little kid that begged their family to bring them to Kill Miami. Killed his parents, flew out there. Let's go to Miami for the weekend. The road ends. Mm. Here, where things go from the known to the unknown. For the majority of the first puzzle, we have a pretty good amount of screenshots, articles, primary sources, evidence to map the test out. But once Cicada 3301 began to actively discourage collaboration and limit the number of people that could go onward, the trail began to become a bit fuzzy. Nearly a month after the website that hosted the message discouraging collaboration went dark, a final post from Cicada 3301 appeared on Reddit, signed with their unique PMP code, meaning the message was truly from Cicada, the message read, 
We have now found the individuals we sought. Thus, our month-long journey ends for now. Puzzles two and three. Three years later, Cicada 3301 would reappear. Like the first puzzle, solvers again were led through a series of puzzles, which included a bootable Linux disc and music, along with previously used encryption methods. While the puzzles were incredibly difficult and crafted in a meticulous manner, they again attracted a massive following because, in theory, all of it was solvable. So right then I got excited for number 11 that got just missed the in crowd. Second recruitment. And then for three years they were miserable. I missed it. I missed it. Damn. You're up. The third puzzle. Oh, and the sheet order got messed up. The third puzzle was a bit different. For the majority of the public, it came to an end after being given a 60-page manuscript entirely written in runes called the Liber Primus. The book stands unsolved to this day. Unsolvable. I'm calling it right now. It's just gibberish. It's unsolvable till it's not. Our investigation. All right. I mean, I don't know. I don't think we're going to solve this one at all. Oh, come on. Noah's going to present some leading. Noah is the writer for Last One Pass. He's going to present some leading hypotheses and present some questions for us. We're going to try and figure it out. Leading hypothesis. Recruitment for all intelligent agencies. Believe it or not, the NSA and CIA regularly, regularly use online puzzles and cryptology to recruit college-age students into a career path. Intelligence ag- agencies have the budget and financial ability to create puzzles like the ones Cicada 3301 released. You think that's what this is? Is that your main theory? I think... I don't know if it's currently my lead. Uh, It does make sense to a degree, right? Like... No. I don't think government agencies are as sophisticated as people think they are. Well, I think that's the thing. I don't think... Like, I think if you ask them, like, honestly, they'd be like... Yeah, we just hire at student fairs. Right. Career day. Yeah. And whenever you read history books. It's I think there's a bored person here. They got government money. Oh, okay. Like you, you like know? this was like a government this was <laughs> this was a guy that's just on desk duty for the CIA and they told him he needed he like they were like, you know what, Bobby? You can hire yourself an assistant. Yeah. You know, we got whatever you need and then he was like, All right. Do you mind how I go about hiring them? And they're like, nah, don't care, man. Like, you don't really even have a job here. And then he put this together. So it is CIA. Yeah. But it's like the guy who actually doesn't do anything at the CIA just sits in a in a basement. And they don't give him any tasks because he ruined his career prior. Yeah, I wasn't fully going to spin there. I like it. You like that? No. Um, I do think, hey, I, I just, I think people got bored. I think the CIA, NSA, they were doing their normal stuff. They'd done the same recruiting for years. Like you're saying, job fairs, they ran through some tests. And then they were like, hey, you know, we got the budget. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. It says here, Noah says that many of the puzzles had to do with free thought, freedom of information, which would be interesting for like government agencies that spy on everyone. Right. So I don't know. There's a way that that could be real there. Another one is next next theory is cult. Cicada 3301 is steeped in secrecy. To this day, no one has been able to prove they were or are a part of it. The intelligent, complex nature of the puzzles could point to a criminal organization looking for computer whizzes with time on their hands. Nah. Uh, criminals really? like Criminals like being caught. Cults love being known. Uh, I don't, I don't think it's that if the, that's what it was, it, we're in 2021 now, this was 2012. We, they would be bragging about it already. Criminals like being caught. Mm-hmm. That's why, that's why criminals always show up to like their crime scene when the cops are there. I'm not fully aligned with that. I think that's just stuff weighing in the back of your head and seeing if they're on to you. I don't think criminals like being caught. I think if you ask criminals if when you they just did their crime, do you want to be caught or not? 
Yeah, but they, they like the danger of it. And a lot of, like, serial killers like the notoriety. They usually right. leave clues. That's a little bit of and a then thing. thing. And cults, for sure, love being public. Like, they like knowing. They want people to know they exist. I'm just saying I'm seeing a decent game plan here. Um, like, I don't know. If you're looking to get, you know, some of the smartest geeks in the world, I think I'm with you on cults. Cults do have an end game of being known and elite. There's a message there. Yeah. I could see crime or, or I don't know, power, man. Knowledge is power. And they said, how, how should we rack up 10 of the smartest weirdos in the world? Mm, I don't know. Okay. I mean, why would you give yourself a name if you don't want to be caught like Cicada? Three three zero one. They haven't been caught. Why? Why even like name yourself then? Got to have a name. Don't need to. Then how do you communicate? That's up to them to do it. No, you public need an can't know. Uh, reported leaks from users who made maybe it their deep name's in, not Cicada three three zero one. Maybe. So there's reported leaks from puzzles one and two. And they have themes. An organization dedicated to free thought. They believe censorship is wrong and privacy is an inalienable right dedicated to finding solutions to ensure free speech and internet use throughout the world. <sighs> this group isn't out there trying to do good in the world, I'll tell you that much, because they're a secret club. Yeah. They're a secret club. If you want to do good in the world, make a ton of money and make the difference. Otherwise, you're not doing shit. No, like, come on. We're dedicated to, we're dead. They believe that censorship and privacy is wrong, but they're going to do the most private, censored, secret thing right. to happen. Yeah. I, I ain't buying that. I'm with you there. I ain't buying that at all. Noah's got some questions. All right. He says, this seems like the most likely scenario. Oh, so we disagree with Noah. He still has some questions. If Cicada 3301 is some type free th free thought think tank, this begs the question, who the hell is behind it? Cicada clearly has money, resources, and the time to create. We've found some slight holes in that. Mm -hmm. And deploy intricate puzzles. So who's behind it? Rich philanthropists who want to leave their mark on the world? No. There's no mark. There's no mark. We're markless. Yes. Disagree with that one. Technology CEOs who want to reform the industry? No, they don't have the free time. They'd they're, love to brag about it. They're, too. they're, they're CEOs. They love to brag about I mean, it. If yeah. Zuck could say I was Cicada. Like, yeah. he would become King Nerd. Yes. You know? Yeah. Um, a bunch of smart, rich coders from across the world who decided to gang up and create the most talked about internet mystery of all time. Yeah. I, that, yeah. That, that, my two leading theories here. Are that like there was a there was a four chan group of ten friends that loved coding, and they wanted to just like let's like let's give people something to do and talk about, and let's see if anyone can crack our bullshit. And you know, at the end of it, they just left like a cake, like congrats, you were the smartest person to crack this, and that was the end of it. And they just you know ten group ten friends who became internet friends. That's my theory one. Theory two is the the guy in the back room of the CIA who has was has no cases, a ton of free time, and the ability to do whatever he wants because they can't get rid of him because he knows too many secrets. Right. So he's kind of holding that over their head. Mm. But also, they're not going to give him any real tasks. So he's like, well, what if I just take over recruitment for everyone? I'll find you guys the smartest people. He's smartest. And he put together that. And that's, maybe that's my one. Both of those yeah. I can be swayed into. Everything else off the table for me. Yeah, I kind of like the government thing. And that would be the whole spin at the end. Like, you know, all those free thinking, not the government messages. And it's like, you're the 10 smartest people in the world. You're going to be the 10 most powerful people yeah. in the world. So I could see something like that. Uh, I'm trying to think, okay, I've got one potential spin. What's like the richest, some of the richest, best technology things that have happened since 2012? 
Bitcoin. Bitcoin. My brain jumped there too. I don't know anything else. Right. <laughs> Because everything kind of started before then and then got bigger. These guys created TikTok. TikTok. These are the TikTok creators. That's what I was going to say. The only other thing here I could see is if they needed geniuses for something. Which, hey, Bitcoin. I like that theory. And then they're like sworn to secrecy and their financials and like livelihoods are tied to it or something. So they can't come forward. So like it's the Winklevosses. I still like that it could just be one dude who paid people across the world to put up a sign on telephone poles to make it seem like it was multiple people. Like, I, here's what I'll say about this, and I'm cynical anyway. There's zero doubt in my mind that if this was ever to be solved or brought to light, it would be as disappointing as disappointing gets. Oh, yeah. I mean, the the best part of this is the unknown. Yes. Well, as soon as it's known and people are like, it's government, it's CIA recruitment, it's aliens, it's like an underground new uh, Masons. All those would be very, very disappointed to find out it was just a, a bored group of 10 guys or even one person. I think that's the only takeaway I have is this is a disappointing conclusion, so don't get too excited. Yeah, I googled Winklevoss Cicada 3301, nothing comes up. Damn. So that's kind of messed up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, what's the win? What's the win for anyone? Like, the only win we currently see is government getting smart people. Yeah. A lot of time on their hands. Because everything else feels like it would get out, right? You know, in the scene Miracle? I know the movie. Yeah. Yeah. When when Herb Brooks sixty page test, uh, personality test to start it, and Jim Craig the goalie doesn't take it, he throws it out, and then at the end he benches Jim Craig because he thinks he's getting a little soft, and he's like, "You want me to take? Is this because I didn't take your test? You want me to take your stupid test?" And Herb Brooks is like, "I want the guy in the net who didn't take the test." That's what's wrong with this recruitment thing. You don't want the people that actually had yeah. enough free time, and like. Enjoyment of following through on this You don't want those people yeah. You want the people that could crack it But said fuck this and yeah. left So it's a bad recruitment strategy That's all I'm saying Is there any chance Because doesn't the, doesn't the military have the thing Where they have to leak information After 50 years or whatever They have to make it public or something Like wasn't that the Kennedy stuff that happened And something with Yeah but they still just white everything out if they need to Right um, Is there any chance in 40 years, we see Cicada 3301 on something, and it's like, oh. Only if, like, that guy or the guy who had the cake at the end tells everyone. The guy, the reason we don't know what this is is because the five to one to five people that got to the end are way too embarrassed to be like, yeah, I got to the end. It was uh, nothing. It was a cake. I spent three years of my life decrypting nothing for a cupcake. I've got bad news. Yes. Exciting. We've been duped. Oh. So you were excited that there was a puzzle inside the original puzzle. Mm -hmm. And I think that was part true. Uh, I think it was engaged. It led to another site, I believe. But it was like related. It was all related. Um, This person was in deep and they ran out. Stuff got too heavy. This became a real thing. And they said, you know, only the final, only the leaders advance. Nobody advanced. Nobody advanced. Yeah. Or they got killed. And to that person, I actually give them a little bit of credit. Stepping away when they were out, you know. They duped a bunch of nerds. And they realized they were in too deep. Things kind of got heavy. And they just said, nope. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, back to my point about the Jim Craig take the test thing. Yes. The moment, like, you know, the guy walks through the door and, like, I cracked the code. It's me. I'm the one of the smartest people in the world, just the guy you were looking for. Yeah. They're like, oh, shit. Yeah. And they and they they leave the hotel. Like, they run. They, they see who passed the test, and they just run away. They're like, never mind. I don't want to fucking deal with that guy. They say they see who passed. If this was actually the government, they'd see who passed the first two tests. 
And then when they found out there was locations, they quit. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Yeah. No. Like, those are the guys that get everyone. I, everyone saw it in Men in Black. Everyone saw it in Men in Black. Yeah. Thank you guys very much for, t- for tuning in. We'll be back next week with another thing that we're going to solve. Case? I'm not sure. I don't know what the next one is, but we're going to solve it. Case closed. Solve this one. It's not worth the time. Winkle Vosses, good job. Goodbye. Bye.